Hello guys, it's me Sarah S and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the extended enhanced quarantine, community quarantine. So the main purpose of this video is to ask viewers for suggestions and their opinions on what to do during extended enhanced community quarantine. And I am an aspiring to become one of the many successful YouTubers or shall we say vloggers. So, but I still have so many things to learn even at my age. Can you guess? So what opted me to make videos is because of my youngest son. He has this passion. By the way, the name of my son's channel is Jan TV. You may also check on his channel. Okay? He has this passion and ambition to become also a, a vlog, vlogger someday, you know? And what always in his mind is to earn from it. So he kept on asking me, questioning me about about vlog vlogging, which I myself cannot answer. So I can so I am trying to research and research. So with this journey I bumped into seeing videos of vloggers who has lots of subscribers views and so I so I can gain knowledge from them also so I saw one video about giving snacks to frontliners uh, the ones that posting on checkpoints you see what I mean so the that vlogger asked the people or the, the those people who are there as to what they can say or um, say to their fellow men who were told to stay at home like things like that so I was quite questioning my conscience as to what to respond to some of their statement so but before that let me tell you something okay ganito I accept you know that there are times nung nag work pa ako when we are at work there are times na you get stressed um, by from people na uh, going in and out of the office, they have problems, and then it became your problem also. So you became stressed and worried, and then you you could sometimes say to yourself that I need a break. So ito na, naibigay na sa akin yung break, because we're on ECQ, it's been 40 days, almost more than 40 days. But I think that that break I was asking for is too much or it's enough diba so as, as i was saying the blogger asked those in the post no sa checkpoint yung mga frontliners yung isa sabi niya buti pa kayo so i guess um she was referring to us who were who were staying at home so buti pa kayo nakakasama yung pamilya nyo samantalang kami gustuhin man namin I hindi pwede. So by that, I am honestly grateful and appreciate it very much. Yung mga service at saka sacrifices nila for the safe safety of the majority. So there's nothing to to argue with that. Hands up ako dyan. And then another person said, we can survive this soon. So we need to say, he is give, giving us hope. So another one said, Okay, um, you don't need to do something, but just stay at home and be safe. Then then don't keep on complaining. Huwag nyo iasa lahat sa gobyerno. Do your part. Sikapin nyo na huwag iasa sa gobyerno lahat. Mag-isip kayo ng paraan para hindi magutom. So in my mind, was um, was she referring to 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 yung mga um, ayuda sa gobyerno like sa uh, the dole and whatever? 
after hearing that, hindi talaga ako makatulog. Ka, nag-alas 4 na ng umaga, hindi talaga ako nakatulog kasi nag-iisip ako kung ano bang gagawin namin para hindi kami umasa sa gobyerno. Tsaka, yung mga para-paraan kung para hindi kami magutom. Wala kaming work. No? Hindi, kami, hindi kami makalabas. Hindi kami makawork. Diba? So, after hearing that, yun lang, hindi talaga ako maka, hindi ako makapakati. Hindi ako mapakali. For me, I am one of those low income earner who happen to receive support from my boss. Pero, I can't blame them if that support did not last after that holy week until today. Because, wala naman kasing misa. So, I, I am actually working at a parish office. So, di ba stop yung mga masses? We, we are just on live streaming sa mass. And then, wala. Wala silang connection. So, I understand also the situation. So, yung, no, my allowance, hindi talaga ako makapag-save. You see? I, I call it allowance because it's not even a minimum wage. Okay. So, sa husband ko naman, they have been waiting for this construction project to be approved by the governor. So, they have wait. Yeah, they're waiting for the permit to operate. Ang tagal talaga nilang naghintay. Umagawa lang sila ng mga paperwork. And then, noong March first week or second week yata, nag-start na sana yung construction project nila. And all of the sudden, nag-enhanced uh, quarantine. So, nag-stop din. Walang, wala pa nga one month. Diba? So, yung project nila sana is an advantage and is a big opportunity kasi the distance from the construction site from our house is just a walk away. Diba? Parang wala talaga. Kahit sa construction, wala talaga tayong wala tayong maasahan. Wala tayong ano wala tayong word. So, hindi ko malubos maisip kung ano kayang solusyon kung yung sinasabi niya, huwag maghanap kayo ng paraan para hindi kayo magutom. So, this is my question. How can we address to that statement of the woman na wag iasa lahat sa government? So, we are five in the family. No? Kung ako lang, I can manage to eat full meal once a day. Basta may, ano lang, may kape, may biscuit, so na ako dyan. But I have three children. So I'm not blaming anybody as to the number of children I have. You know? And sana... I cannot hear people saying that it's not the problem of the government if you have so many children to feed. Diba? Even if I have work on, I, I cook um, something for sale. You know, uh, like Masi. If you are familiar with Masi, the one that's with um, peanut filling. Okay? Some. Um, I'm selling those to my um, neighbors, to to my office mates. So I'm also making this one tablia. Hey, what was tablia? Is it? Ang ginagawa ko sa to, ito ginagawa ko to. This one I. I should have sold this to my customer in Mandawe City. But since nga naka-lockdown na tayo, so all of my customers are
from Mandawi City. So, hindi ko na ito naibenta. Diba? So, ito. So, I sold this for 5 pesos. This one is 10 pesos. May, may umu-order naman before this quarantine. Pero, ito, hindi na, hindi ko na na naibenta. So, I'm just, we, we were, we were just using this for our consumption. And I'm also um, making wallet. Ito. Wallet. And then, ito, marami. Ito, siya marami. This is the harder part kasi you cannot, you cannot, ano, you cannot, hindi mo, wala, hindi ka baka tapos nito in just a day. Diba? So, ito, ginagawa ko to, kumukuha ko ng mga, yung may mga sirang bag, kinukuha ko yung ibang parts na magagamit pa. Kasi, wala kang mabibilhan, walang open na textile eh. Mga, yung, kinapos ka sa, ano, materials. So, ito, yung mga customers ko nito, puro mga taga Mandawi City. So, hindi ko makakross ng border. Kaya, ito, gumagawa lang ako ng gumagawa hanggat sa may mag bumili. So, sa Masi, I have, I can sold for an average of 300 a day. So, parang minimum lang yan. So, depende lang sa so quantity ng ano ng naluto ko so for this wallet i am selling this for like this one it's may may ano na siya may modern ano improvement parang may ano na siya kaya and ito 120 so ito pwede itong 150 kasi may mga extra ano na siya additional material na, na nagagamit meron din itong um, small wallet this would cost 50 pesos 50 pesos so ito uh, 120 so um, for, for an additional information itong mga wallet is is from the coffee or milo wrappers so parang nire-recycle ko yung mga wrappers Meaning to say, I am doing my best. Hindi lang sa work. I am also doing my best para hindi kami magutom. Pero, pero in this current situation, in this current situation, you know, hindi talaga ako nakatulog yung sinabi niya. Gumawa, gumawa kayo ng paraan para hindi kayo magutom. So, I, I really can think of things to answer that woman's um, statement. Um, you no, know, huwag iasa sa gobyerno at huwag mag-complain. Hindi naman ako nagko-complain. Hindi naman ako nagko-complain honestly kasi um, hindi, kahit may marami akong naririnig o nababasa sa Facebook na may ayuda nga sa government, hindi, parang hindi ko, parang hindi pinapa, ano ko lang, let it pass na lang guys. Pag may ibibigay naman yung government, why not? Who am I to refuse? Diba? Because I believe also na the saying, to refuse an offer is an insult. So, sino ba ako kung, kung may ibibigay talaga yung government, eh, eh di tatanggapin, di ba? So, going back to the sleepless night, I am thinking, thinking, you know. So, I wanted to cook masi. I wanted to make tablia. I wanted to make more wallet. Pero, ano, pero, papano? Kinakapos ako sa ingredients, sa materials, yung pinagbilhan ko ng cacao, malayo, and then, yung sa, ano, yung money, the peanut, malayo. Tapos, naka-quarantine, wala kang pera, yung ganun. Yung, yung, yung sa wallet, parang gusto ko kung maipa-improve ito, pero wala akong materials, so, paano? Diba? Paano? Yun, yun talaga yung iniisip ko. Kaya nga hindi ako maka, makatulog, you know. But, kaya nga siguro nagawa ko itong video na to. Kasi, para ipupush ko na lang siguro ang pagiging aspiring vlog vlogger. Well, anyway, sobrang taas na ng video to. 
So, for those who can share their ideas, opinion, or suggestions, kindly comment below and I would love to read it. Diba? So, looking forward for any comments and if you if you're new to my channel, please um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button for more videos. Thank you, but thank you guys for watching, and see you on my next video. Bye.